Hello everyone, today I'll be playing Spearmint Mountain. That is a game by Baku, and the music is by Rolbert. And uh, if you want to play this game yourself before you watch this video, feel free to download it in the link below. The game is free. And uh, yeah, let's check this out. And talk about it as we play. It was a cold and dark night at Spearmint Mountain. I'm gonna do wacky voices because that's what that's what sells the kids on these on these games, I guess. Videos. What? Okay. Anyway, a most powerful storm was raging. The worst storm of the century. Suddenly, a lightning bolt struck the sacred mint at the summit. The explosion tore off min. You. <laughs> The explosion tore off huge mint chunks, all rained down from upon down 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 down, down upon the mountain. Hey, phone! I don't need to. this. Is already great. Ten out of ten video right here. Uh, under the dark night sky, every last chunk came alive. This is the story of one of those chunks. Well, okay then, I am, uh, oh, this game plays at 60, that's really nice. Um, so, I can press up to jump or spacebar to jump. I can use left and right to move. I have three hearts. I am a green chunk of spears or mints. There are spikes here, so I imagine we have to avoid those. Oh, oh I'm an idiot, okay. Uh, things are going so swell right now. And, uh, yeah. Alright, we made it to the first area. That's pretty good. We're pretty good. I mean, you know, not too bad. I'm usually pretty terrible at these, but... There's no double jump, so I can't go to the other side there. X, grab and poke. What about if I do this? Yeah! Wait, what does it mean, poke? Oh, maybe I can't just like stick it anywhere, or because I, I I was looking at the the thing on the lob, the description or whatever. <gasps> what the? Oh, it like runs out of energy or something. Also, I have only one heart left. Oh no, I guess not. Okay, I guess I'm just holding this. Uh, I was reading the thing, and apparently you can like throw them into walls and platform with them or something, which I thought was really interesting. Hold C, and, okay, so this is probably what I was just talking about. So you hold C and then you move, <gasps> and then you press C to throw. Oh man! That's so cool! Wait, I wanna go back to that one area and see if there was, um, like, an area I could explore. Oh, go oh, okay. <laughs> See, look at this. There's, like, all this hidden stuff. So now, now I have to go back and explore. <laughs> okay, well, that went swimmingly. God damn it, why can't I get up? <laughs> Maybe you're not allowed to. Maybe I have to do that on my way back. Oh gosh dang it. I've, I've really done it now. So can I grab it while it's, or did I just? Did I just mess up? Do I have to restart the game or the level? Oh God, I didn't think I would screw up this bad. Okay, well, I think I just, I, I made myself stuck. <gasps> oh, what was that? You can do bouncy moves. But I, I still think I'm stuck, so. I mean, I would think you would be able to, okay, that works. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that was a glitch, so, oh. 
Well, that was death. Well, okay then. Um, ow. I wanted to go back and I wanted to stick the... Okay, here we go. See, see, there's like a, a thingamabob right here. See, I knew it. Oh, how do I get up there? Oh, I bet, I bet I know what to do. Wait, can you actually stick the spear in here? I, I doubt it. Oh, apparently you can. And if you hold Z, okay, so I got that. Gotcha, I know how to do, I know how to play video games, people. Oh, uh, by the way, don't mind the, uh, the keyboard clicking. Sorry. I'm kind of everywhere with this video, because, like, I haven't actually played a, uh, an Ichio game, like, live for a while. Usually, uh, because I did the visual novel to get, ugh, I did the visual novel games a little while ago, but, uh, yeah, th th those are easy, because you just get to read, but this one I have to, like, improv. Uh, I mean, not that I'm not improv in any way, but, okay, I'll grab one of these. So far, um, I actually really like this. It's a it's a simple, but um, it requires some strategy and stuff. Like, look, there's a coin up there that you can get. If so, I imagine I have to do something like this at the very edge, and then I should be able to grab it if I if I time the jump properly. There we go. See, I'm a smarty pants. Um, so yeah, pretty neat concept, I have to say. And and you are kind of like limited on your uh, little straw thing, so you gotta be careful here so that you don't... What the hell is that thing? Uh, well, whatever it was, I died, so... Plus, like, the, uh, the coins make for a good extra challenge, so... Oh man, I'm awful at video games. Okay, well... That worked. Um, so I can't get up there, but there's like a cube up there. I wonder what that does. Maybe I, I can throw the, the thingamabob at it. Also, that's a really nice feature. The fact that like if you're off screen, there's an arrow that kind of shows where you are. Oh God, okay. Maybe if I just stand still and then aim it. Okay. That definitely seems like the right thing to do. Okay. And yeah, I failed, so that's good. Okay. So I guess we can go back to that later, or we could just get these out here, I guess. There's extra little things, and I feel inclined to get them, because I think it really kind of flushes out what this game is trying to demonstrate. Of course not. Of course not. It looks like I need two more anyway. Also, I'm probably dead near, so... Yep. I hope that doesn't restart, but it would be fair if it did, I guess, so... Also, I probably have to fight some of these enemies again. Also, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Also, it looks like they didn't reset? Okay, I guess that's fine. Get away, ya eye bat thingy. Nice, all right. Oh boy, okay. So apparently it's like the middle of January and like it's super hot. It's like 90 degrees outside in California and I'm just like, what the heck is happening in the world? Why is it so hot in California? Um, how does that tie in with this game? Uh, it doesn't, but you know what? That's okay, because maybe uh, maybe at the top of, like, I don't know, Mount Olympus in California. I just really, what, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm, like, sticking my hand into the uh, the void of commentary, and I'm just trying to pick something out, but... Obviously, there's nothing. Okay. Ooh, 
Whoa, okay, that's... That's really random. <laughs> okay. Well, I know how to get that one. I just have to like, kind of suicide my way in there. Okay. Good thing I just can die whenever, so there's no consequence to dying. Um, not that it's that big of a deal or anything, I just... It makes things very convenient. Alright. I really like the aesthetic, by the way. It's just like, it's just a few colors and then a few shades of green. Like, that. it's like darker shades of green. But like, there is some like a little bit of brightness to it, I guess. But I, I just really enjoy that. I think that's really neat. Also, what the heck? Also, some pretty interesting level design here. Maybe I have to throw the spear at this guy. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Generally speaking, I guess if you throw the spear near the bottom of these things... Oh, come on, ya, ya blimey. Ya blimey bat. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe I made that. Oh, I guess I gotta... I'll do a thing with Bob here. Oh, I don't have a lot of time to aim it. Okay, that should be good. Now I just have to make the jump. Oh, wait a second, maybe it doesn't work like that. Maybe I have to kind of extend the own, my own platform. Oh God, I'm gonna die a horrible death. Just get away from me. Oh, it won't let you. Isn't, uh, I wish there was a way to, like, kind of cancel out of the throwing. So you don't wait, shit. <laughs> I wish there was a way to, like, kind of cancel out of it. That'd be kind of nice, but. Now, how do I do this? I have to, like, do a precision jump, like, right at the frame where it, like. Okay, well, that works too, I guess. Um, oh boy. Ugh, I know what I need to do, but I'm not necessarily happy about it. Oh, come on. <laughs> I missed with that one. Okay, so that works. Uh, these guys back too. Hmm. Again, I am very awful at these platforming games, so if it sounds like I'm being too negative, uh, that's that's just me. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I would if I if I had any critique or criticism. I would say the the enemies respawning and uh, all that stuff. The, the respawning enemies and stuff, like, that's fine, but, like, I would kind of place them in a little bit better positions. Like, this one coming up is just a little mean. Because you have to hit him, get rid of that, and then, yeah, then you have to go back down and get one. It's just a little, like, I mean, I guess that's, like, that's a little too harsh, I guess, but I don't know. It just kind of bothers me a little bit. It's, like, also, like, this guy, like, where'd he come from? Like... That doesn't make any sense. Like, you, you should be able to, like, oh god. You should be able to, like, see the threat first before you, like, you run into it. At least, uh, I don't know. That's, like, the fair way. But, I don't know. What do I know? I'm full of poo poo anyway. I guess it makes sense that they gave you so many of these things, though, so. Also, you probably, that guy probably came from me just bouncing up really high, so. 
Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to be nice as I can. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yeah, it would it would be pretty nice to cancel out of that spear thing. The the, the throwing reticle or whatever. This part's kind of difficult. Ah, uh, uh, that is. See, I don't wanna, I don't wanna complain too much because then it just sounds I'm like a nitpicking. But that block right, this block right here, it doesn't go far enough that you would be able to make that jump unless you like just kind of perfectly do it, you know. Also, that block above there kind of blocks you from getting maximum height. It seems like. Now I could be wrong about that, and I, I could be. Okay, well there you go. See, I, I got it that time, but. It just, it, mm, I don't know. Am I complaining too much? I probably am. There we go. Like right there, if it went a little more to the left, then I feel like that would be more viable. It's just like that jump has no room for error, it seems like. Because it, it just turns back really quickly. Anyway. Oh boy, this is gonna be. Okay. I think I know how to do this. And then. I will say though, the rest of it is well designed, I have to say. Like, that, this, there are just some pretty smart puzzles in here. See, like that one was more fair, like there was more room for to... Also, where am I going? Should I just drop down here? Oh, well, okay, I guess I need... Jeez. Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> Also, like, why can't you, like, pick up the ones that you've already thrown? Like, that just seems a little silly. Considering the other ones are just in the ground there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I guess, uh, this, this video might be a little strange if you're, like, kind of watching this for the same time and you're just kind of listening to me complain. Basically, like, what I try to do with these videos is that I try to critique it as much as I can while I play through it. Um that it's kind of like pseudo commentary, pseudo like, I wouldn't say review, because this isn't a review or anything, but um, it's just like my way of like commentating, I guess. Because otherwise I could just be really silly and then I wouldn't have anything to say, but um, I just feel like it's good feedback for the developer themselves if they ever want to like update the game or like improve it in any way. See, like here, what am I supposed to do? Like, I got, I got that th that's moving, but I've already established that I can't, like, I can't throw at moving blocks. See how it says the cancel sign? It means that I can't do that. So, like, am I, am I supposed to be in full screen or something? No, it doesn't work. <laughs> I think I screwed up recording too. Oh uh, no, it's okay. But like, am I supposed to like just kind of take a leap of faith here? Or, I mean, apparently I was supposed to for that coin, but. Unless the puzzle is try to figure, I mean, I don't know. Unless, oh God. Also, who thought like going down a bottomless pit or like a pit of death to get a coin is a good idea? I don't know. That just, I don't know. I'm, I, now I'm just like complaining, I think. <laughs> Also, I hate that enemy. <laughs> I'm gonna die anyway, so, oh well. And I don't have enough hearts to reach that, so I might as well die because I don't have enough hearts to reach the, uh, the hoobity scoobity. Now, okay, this game was made in 48 hours, so it's, it's pretty uh, acceptable to have all these problems, if they are even problems. Maybe I'm just, again, complaining about nothing. Okay. 
<laughs> Still though, I, I I am having a little bit of fun. I mean, although I'm getting real peeved at that one block, but I think it's a fun game. It's really neat. I mean, for 48 hours you made this, like that's pretty incredible. Like that's better than anything I could do. That's for sure. I'm not a game designer. Designing games is really hard. The only thing I can do is just sit on my lazy bum and just critique it. But, you know, if my critique helps make it a better game, then I, I feel like I'm inclined to make that commentary, you know? I'm not doing it to be a jerk. I, I mean, I hope that's the last impression people get from my videos. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do here. So so it just turns out that I am actually stupid, so... And now I have to sacrifice myself to get this coin. Okay, I got the coin. But... <laughs> I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I wish, uh, I wish there was a little less punishment there. It just seems a little silly that... Oh, okay, well, I'm dead now. <laughs> It just seems a little silly that I have to, like, kill myself to get that thing, <laughs> but... Oops. Hmm, alright, so I think that might be everything in this little area, so hopefully we can move on. I don't know how long this game is, um... Well, I'm gonna die again. Thank invincibility frames. Yay. It's a nice little like particle effect, by the way, when you like move around, there's like a little dust there. That's pretty neat. Also, I like how he blinks. That's, that's just neat too. Ugh. Mmm. So, uh, how's it going, people? Oh my god, come on! Wait a second. Can you, like, build platforms off the other platforms? Is that, like, actually a thing you can do? I really doubt it, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Because I, I might actually be stupid. Oh, that requires, like, precise aiming, though. Nope, of course not. <laughs> well, let me try it here. No, it just goes through them. They don't count as actual, like... I was gonna say, if you can make, like, a... I guess that wouldn't make any sense, though, but... Oh, well. I have a feeling like I'm gonna die here, so... I'm just gonna kill myself so that if I die, then I didn't waste all the effort. But that means I have to kill all these guys again. This game's the real Dark Souls of indie platformers, you know what I mean? Someone, someone dislike, everyone dislike my video for saying that. Oh god. Leave me alone, you, you crazy bat. Alright. Okay, thank god. Now I gotta be careful here. Well, it's a good challenge, you know? I just- I just want the challenge- challenges to be, like, a, a little more fair, I guess. Like, like, all this is fair. I think the only thing that- What the fuck is happening right now? Uh... What? What? Oh... Oh... Okay, what? Oh, did I make it to the top? And there it was, the sacred mint that had given birth to our unlikely hero. Finally home, he thought to himself. What a long and tiresome journey. Along the way, he had blacked out 14 times, but he still managed to push through. He had collected eight small shiny mint coins. I wonder how many coins I missed. The end. Wow. Okay, well... I feel like a jerk now. I don't know. That was a nice little ending. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that was 
That was too sweet. Get it? Because, you know, mints and stuff. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess everything was pretty nice, except for that, like, kind of last area. I wonder how many coins I missed. I would estimate maybe there's, like, ten, but maybe there could be a lot more. But, yeah, just that last area, like, uh, that one block just kind of annoyed me. I just feel like it go further to the left a little bit, and then... I think the rest I was just kind of invalid and complaining about, so... Just because, like, just because, like, you can't do a challenge doesn't necessarily mean it's unfair. That could be on the player, you know? So, if I sounded like I was complaining, it might have just been me. Um, and I think for a majority of the time, I'm willing to admit that it probably was me. But that one block, though, could have been to the left. That's what you should get out of this video. That one block could have been to the left. Anyway, that was Spearmint Mountain. If you want to play it yourself and maybe find the coins that I didn't find, or do a much better job and die in less than 14. Was it 14? I don't know. If you want to be a pro at it, if you want to be the world champion speedrunner of Spearmint Mountain, uh, download the game below and uh, send some love to the developers too. I don't know them. I'm just, they made a cool game. So anyway, 48 hours. So that's pretty fucking amazing to be quite honest. So anyway, uh, take care everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like these videos, you can watch all my other stuff. Yada, yada, yada. And uh, yeah, take care.